What's up school fans, balik gue Gorky Padilla dan hari ini gue sudah ada di depannya DBL Arena Surabaya untuk meliput hari pertama IBL Series ketiga di Surabaya of course gue gak bisa miss hari ini sih karena ada rematch IBL Finals antara Pelita J. Bakri melawan Satria Muda Pertamina oh my god this is probably the biggest matchup this season yang kita udah tunggu-tunggu banget semoga gamenya akan seru dan gue penasaran kira-kira siapa yang akan menang nih hari ini ya and of course katanya Avan dia punya surprise untuk kita semua jadi gue juga penasaran kira-kira surprise siapa jadi nanti ditunggu juga tapi emang trip kali ini gue agak pendek sih karena gue akan balik ke Jakarta langsung besok ini jadi gue hanya meliputnya hari pertama aja tapi abis ini nonton tim Prawira Harum Bandung gue dulu dong mereka akan lawan F1 Thunder Bogor of course gue hari ini excited banget untuk melihat Yuda lagi walaupun gak ada Brandon sih Brandon dia kena suspension karena ejected uh, in the last game but still ada Jared Shaw, ada Yuda, ada Firda, ada Reza gue semangat banget sih untuk nonton mereka hari ini dan kalau gitu guys sebelum kita masuk ke dalam jangan lupa guys untuk kasih like dan juga nanti komen um, of course yang belum subscribe please subscribe to this channel and once again really appreciate the support kalau gitu kita langsung aja masuk ke dalam guys ah ya. ini baju ya saya keren banget yang ini yeah. gue suka banget pose yeah, ini ya. ini jadi adik kakak beda nih iya yeah, beda ya. dong harus jadi yang menang mana nih satria muda sih pasti <laughs> dong <laughs> pemain favorit pemain favorit arki arki wow. Kep Argi <laughs> Argi jago sih Oh ini pasti inilah ya Iya yeah. yeah, saya lah pasti lah <laughs> okay. Enjoy the game ya guys yep, yep. Thank you Mantap. Wah ini jersinya keren nih Hari ini dukung pelita jaya dong berarti ya Yoi Namanya siapa? Nungguin si Yonga Oh Yonga oh, Namanya <laughs> siapa? Dede. Namanya Rizky Dari? Dari Surabaya sih Cuman kerja di Bandung Semalam berangkat dari Bandung ke Surabaya buat nonton Dede Sama PJ Harus menang <laughs> Kok bisa nge sama Dede? Gak tau Auranya, auranya Auranya keren So, thank you ya, enjoy the game Sip Nanti Rian keluar ya Oke, man, work in camera Oh, <laughs> Brandon nama orangnya lucu gitu ya. Emang gak bisa diam orangnya. Gak bisa diam ya. <laughs> Taking picture of the fans as well. <laughs> Brandon is working. Jebretannya Brandon nih, gila mantep banget nih Masuk ke IG-nya Prawira kan nih? You ready for the big game? Okay. <laughs> okay. Good luck, bro. Good luck. Hi, coach. Wow, we got a pizza. Good luck, coach. Good luck, Hardy. Hi, bro. Welcome home. Oh. Welcome home. Oh, ini juga welcome home nih. <laughs> this is my man. Good luck, bro. And this is it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you, bro. Taruh udah sebelum naik. Talk about the big game, though. Big game gimana nih hari ini? Uh, udah pakai kaos tipis kan? Udah. Coba kepas senam jantungnya nanti, nggak terlalu banyak keringetan. 
Semoga nggak kena jinx ya. Itu gue pegang PJ hari ini. Oh lu pegang PJ hari ini. Gue pegang PJ hari ini. Gue patahin jinx lu berarti. Siap. Thank you loh. Keren banget. Asli. Outfitnya. Bisa buat fashion juga kan? Iya. Thank you buat teman geng supportnya and appreciate the love. Yes sir. Good luck man. Thank you. We are here with Coach David Single. Coach, how yeah. you doing, man? Appreciate it. I'm doing well, man. Got a, got a victory, a tough victory, but we got a victory. Bro, you you told me before the season start, Bro. your goal is not to complain to the referee a lot. Yeah. It's not going well right now. Well, you know, it's not. I mean, I think I think it's a combination of uh, what I see is something wrong, and it's not it's not it's not happening. Nobody's calling anything, and I think. It makes it tough. I mean, to the point where we have a player like Brandon out uh -huh. because of some some of those things like that. But you know, we got to stay in control. We got to do a better job. I think it's a combination of us trying to understand the refs better and uh, figure out how we can kind of communicate with them a little bit better. But I think both of us, we have to be better, and I think they have to be better too. To be quite honest, I might need to learn some bahasa. There you go. <laughs> I might have to throw that out. I might shock them a little bit. Yeah, I, I know, shock right? Them a bit. But. 23 turnovers, yeah. obviously you're not happy course, about it. Course. And the next game is gonna be a huge one against yeah. Satria Muda. What do you want to see this team just you know get better? Uh, well, we, normally we've been good in turnovers. Okay. Uh, the last few games we've been under 10, we've been under 12, we've been holding the ball really well. So this game, I think not having Brandon handling the ball okay. a bit, I think we got a little bit loose with it with the crowd and guys getting excited. And it's always a hard thing. It's like a thing you have to control with Yuda and some of these guys when you get up. They want to go crazier and go faster. And it's like, no, slow down, execute, run play. So it's something we preach. This was our worst game as far as turnovers all season. But we've done a pretty good job all year with it. Um, I don't expect us to have a problem with the next game. I think we'll focus on it. But rebounds is not bad, though. Yes. 44 rebounds, what yes. do you think? I think it's good. I think that was a big thing. We're sixth in the league in rebounding. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we want to be better. Last year, we were top two. So uh, we challenged them today to rebound the ball well. And I think they did. And Jared had 14 of them. And that helped out a lot. And you actually, I think, playing so much better though, this season. Yeah. What did you see from him though? These first two series, or maybe like um, one game. Three. Yeah, I think I think out of all the games so far, he's showed maturity. Mm -hmm. He's shown that he's willing to step up uh, in replace of like a guy like Brom who's out, and he's willing to try to lead this team, uh, especially on the scoring and, and the passing standpoint. So tonight he struggled a bit with the, with some of the passes, but he did score the ball, he made some electric plays, and you know you always gotta <laughs> deal with what Yuta brings, uh -huh. which is some some special electricity. And uh, I'm so happy to have him. Western Conference, KD, were you shocked? Oh man, I was so shocked. I mean, I heard it, mm -hmm. but I didn't know it was going to happen. And then when it happened, I'm like, boy, they just formed a special, special team. And they still have Aiden. People aren't even saying Aiden, who's there, is the big. So I think it's going to be very difficult to beat them if they get a chemistry and, and togetherness. And I'm just worried about my Warriors, man. I, I don't know what they're going to do, man. So You heard the news today? See. GP I know. might not move. Physical, man. I know. And I don't even know how you don't know that stuff. So they got to blame Portland on that. I they got to blame Portland on but that. But Portland said that they never push anybody to play a three injury. <laughs> I know. I'm So I'm trying to see uh, what is the outcome is going to be if we, if we lose the trade or we, or we keep them. Dallas got Kyrie now. You it's know. Cold, man. <laughs> you know, that combination is almost, in my opinion, it's not the same athletic. Athleticism is LeBron, mm -hmm. but I think it's the same impact as Kyrie and LeBron 
with Luka and Kyrie because Luka can, is a physical player and he can dominate a game with the basketball. So when you put those two together, you remember what happened in Cleveland. Yeah. And I think it can, similar things can happen in Dallas. Wow. So, so yeah. What's I, coming up out of the it, West? I think, it, I, think, I think it could be Dallas and oh, Suns wow. in the finals. I mean, in, in the Western final. I don't know who will win. Uh, probably KD and those guys. <laughs> probably KD and those guys. Thank you, coach. Yeah, man. Good luck, right. man. Appreciate you, coach. Right, appreciate you. Oh, time, man. Appreciate yes, it. Hi, thank you loh. Udah pakai t-shirtnya. T-shirtnya keren banget. Ini Fabiola kan? Iya. Nah, nggak salah orang ya. <laughs> thank you loh. Udah pakai t-shirtnya. Enak kok adem. Wah, adem ya. Hari ini dukung SMA PJ. PJ. Oh, PJ ya. Ada, ada, ada ayam, ayam Govin. Ayam Govin. Iya, oke. Okay. Thank you ya. Kak. Hans keren banget nih Hans. Hans. Ini celananya nggak dijual nih? Nggak dijual. Yang bikin Coach Dave kata ya. Beneran. Ini ceritanya gimana sih? sendiri ya dia kan ini banget lah sama kita jadi dia setiap hari juga kan apa setiap apa uh, beres every week kan dia ngasih half course chat gitu gitu hmm. jadi ya, emang dia loyal banget lah. Nah, loyal keren banget tapi asli celananya. Thank you Hans. Yang ini juga celananya keren sih. Ini juga nggak dijual nih celananya. Ini nggak dijual ini. Nah. Yang ini yang keren. Itu juga keren gila sih. Encok sih. Ini pulang ekor. Pulang ekor jatuh tadi ya? Gila, tapi tadi 3 point lumayan lah ya, di corner. Ayah. <laughs> Ada blok lagi satu? Satu. <laughs> lumayan. Di blok dua. Dua masa? Masa? Ya, gue kena dua blok tadi. Jadi main adik ulang tahun ngapain? Cuman mengucapkan selamat ulang tahun dikarenakan tanggal 9 itu kita sudah berangkat ke sini. Oh, nggak kasih kado? Ada surprise dong, nyampe oh. hotel kasih kue. Kasih kue? Yoi. Oh, itu doang? Udah itu doang. Nggak beliin sepatu? Ya banyak duitnya dia. Oh baik udah duit ya. Oh, oh, oh iya benar. Duit. <laughs> Good luck ya. Ya. Yeah. Thank, Thank you Reza. Thank you. Fourth side with Brandon Francis aka Latino Dungeon. <laughs> Brandon, how you doing man? Doing good man. Thanks for having me once again. Yes yeah, sir. I know you are friends with Dorian Finney Smith. Were you surprised man with the KD trade and your boy going to the Brooklyn Nets? Yeah, I was surprised. You know Dorian is he's a great player, a great fit in today's game. I would have liked to see him, Luca, and Kyrie together. I think that'd be scary, but not to lie, he's in Brooklyn. We had a great game um, last night, so I'm happy for him. You know, do you have any favorite NBA player or NBA team? Uh, LeBron and Luca are my favorite players, and I'm a Lakers fan because of LeBron. But you know, I support my friends like the Celtics. I got high hopes for Jalen Brown over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, Gabe's my boy, too. Yeah, Minnesota, I got Car Towns. He's my friend, you know, since we was kids. Uh, you know, Finney Smith in Brooklyn now. I mean, I got a couple teams, but my team is the Lakers. Hold up. Who's the most famous NBA player you got on your phone? Maybe. I don't know. I got a couple. I got Car Towns. I mean, I got a couple. Oh, I, got a couple. I got a couple All Stars that. You know, I grew up with them, and when I was in the state, not grew up with them, but when I was in the states, I got, I, I was able to make relationships with them, like you know, the Angelo Russell, players like Jalen Brown, Emmanuel Mudiay. So like, my friends, like, and I, I see them, and hey, what's up? Be like, we, we, we actually catch up. And that's cool, man. That's really dope. So, uh, LeBron breaking the scoring record. <laughs> the greatest ever, bro. Do you think he is the goat? Yes, no doubt. Oh. Respect to Michael Jordan because he did it first, but I think what LeBron has done is been remarkable. Man, he got all the accolades, all the stats. I think if he win another championship, he'd be no debate, but still, I think he's the greatest ever. Yeah, man, me too. I think LeBron, no disrespect to Jordan and rest in peace to Kobe, but I think LeBron is the GOAT, man, you know? I don't think anybody going to break the record, man, in like 30, 40 years. Nah, nah. I don't think nobody will ever, ever bring that record. Because, I mean, LeBron had to have a perfect career. Yeah. He never had, he never had like a, he never missed out a year, anything like that, you know. And putting out 27 at, yeah. at every, like, play, oh, his yeah. career average 27, so, I mean. <laughs> it's crazy. That's, that's crazy. But how tough was it for you, though, sitting down today, sitting out, and, of course, how excited are you coming back and play the defending champion? I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, you know, they have some pretty good teams out here, but, you know, I just want to continue to be the best teammate and player that I can be. And uh, just keep doing what I'm doing so far. I know, man. MVP. Man. <laughs> I, don't, I don't play for the awards, but it'd be nice to get recognized for what I'm doing. 
if not cool, I think the whole league and the whole Indonesia know who I am now, so I think that's more important than any award. Yeah, man, the fans love you. Man, I see that your Instagram is, you know, woo, it's flying. You got a lot of new followers, so how's the experience so far for you, man? I love it. You know, I, like I said, I don't play for any of that. Yeah. I play for the love of the game. You know, I'm able to do what I do inside the basketball court, so and stuff like that outside the court happen. You know, I just do it with a lot of love and any kid out there just whatever you do in life just do it with a lot of love and you, you want to get a lot of good things in return uh -huh. my man appreciate you man all, you, all time man. always I know. yes sir <laughs>
Pras tadi kaget nggak sih lihat Arki take over di kuarter keempat seperti tadi? Kalau dibilang kaget sih nggak itu emang Arki hmm. ya Arki memang begitu kita yang nggak bisa antisipasi dia uh, untuk one on one nya dia yang which is kita sebenarnya udah tahu tapi kita nggak bisa tetap masih belum bisa stop jadi gue bilang kaget nggak tapi ya dia Arki masih salah satu pemain yang wajib diwaspadain. Kita semua tahu Arki lah ya. Hmm. Kadang-kadang memang dia tinggal mau aja sih mau keluar atau enggak gitu. Kadang-kadang uh, cuman kita perlu sentil dikit Arki itu Arki. Jadinya uh, tim percaya banget juga sama dia dan uh, dia bisa deliver. Ya semoga nggak cuma satu game. Hmm. Ya, PR-nya selalu kalau Arki itu bisa dia konsisten terus gitu. Karena dia masih mau kejar MVP sama kali ini. Wah 35 masih mau kejar MVP. Bajuan. Oh iya. <laughs> Nih. Abis ini langsung S kali ya, langsung rendem S kayak main 32 menit. Perawatannya banyak. Perawat. Kasih tahu lah guys. <laughs> Thank you coach. Okay. We got my dog Arki. Thirty minutes, twenty six points. You good dog? Great. As long as I got the W, I'm great. You not sore? If I lost, I'll be <laughs> Just talk about the window, how important it is for you guys to pick up this win against Utah Jaya. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's a big win because especially mm -hmm. like, we were down 17-2, you know, mm -hmm. that's a big uh, difference and then, you know, it shows that we stick together, Tamasi, Lento, Guara and stuff like that. And it's just like, a lot of people were talking about how our 8-0 run wasn't legit because we didn't play like the top tier teams, but... Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. <laughs> that's feel, that must be feeling good. Must feel good for you guys. You know, it's not. It's not even about the record. It's just about you know, us improving so that we're ready. You know, we're the defending champs, and we just trying to work and get that trophy. Oh, you got what? Like, 14 free throws. You said that's a record. I mean, <laughs> I just want to say, Mas, what's it? Thank you, you guys. Mike Barat hari ini. Thank you. That's it. That was a record for me, I think. But in the fourth quarter, what did you feel though? Like you went on an MVP mode, Arky. Is this 2013? I mean, nah, it's just like, you know, I know I know what my role is on the team. Uh, I gotta do what I gotta do to win the game, whatever the team needs me. They need me to drive, set a screen, rebound, give an assist, whatever. Like, I just do what's necessary to win the team. Does it feel good, though? It feels awesome. <laughs> Taking over the game, like, all the time. Like, even the crowd, though, probably went crazy. The crowd is awesome with the crowd. Put the I know. Oh, my God. Routine. I've been doing this for 10 years. <laughs> Arky, good luck, right. man. Appreciate you as always, man. Thank you, bro. My man, Eli. My man, it's a tough one today, bro. How was that game, man? It's you know, one. behind 15 points and then come back in the fourth quarter. It was 15? It was 15. You know, they are like a good team. Runners up. Mm -hmm. Bro, it, I mean, they make some big bu buckets too in the fourth yeah, quarter. Yeah, the fourth quarter was huge, man. Like, slow start. Gotta get better, though. Gotta get better. What do you think you need to get better on? Uh, just, just actually, just move. Just getting used to, like, the physicalness, of, like, with, like, the refs not calling, like, the fouls. And just keep on playing through it. Because as, like, a big man, it's like, I'm super big and strong. So it's like, they think that I don't get fouled. So it's like... <laughs> Actually, I played through that, and it's just a matter of just playing through it, and then just playing my game too, you know? Because I'm not just like using finesse in like my strength, but uh, in like the fourth quarter, just uh, knocked out the noise, and then by any means necessary, you know, just trying to get the dub, man. Like we're nine and zero. Like people were talking mess, saying that like we ain't playing no, you know, big team, top top eight teams, or you know, like the top half. So we're just trying to make like a statement. And like, you know, and just keep it going, like game by game. Arky made a statement too today. Arky <laughs> put the team on his back, you know. Like with me just having like a slow, slow start, Arky uh, stepped up, you know. Like being able to drive and also like hitting like the three and also just, just making plays for me and others and also making free throws. Can't stop it. And Lau was big too. He got a nice layup too at the Lau's, end. Lau's our nice little X factor, man. Lau is nice, man. You know, he was huge last year in like the finals. Same thing this year. I'm going back to Seattle next week. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'll be there soon. I'm going back, man. <laughs> I missed it, man. Yes, yeah, sir. Thank you, Eli. Thank you, bro.
Itu adalah liputan gue dari hari pertama IBL seri ketiga di Surabaya Gila, asli gak rugi sama sekali sih Gue nonton PJ sama SM Gak rugi sama sekali, udah beli tiket pesawat ke sini Dan juga hotel, oh my god tuh Gamenya bener-bener worth it banget untuk ditonton hari ini Apalagi tadi SM sempat ketinggalan 15 poin duluan And of course, Arki took over Dia bener MVP mode banget sih tadi ini So, man, I had so much fun Tapi yang sayangnya cuma bisa satu hari sini Well, besok itu ada Ramon Galway Lawan Anthony Bean, oh my god itu gak bakal seru banget, lalu juga hari Rabu masih ada Prawiro dan SM, but mau gimana lagi uh, harus pulang besok ini, and of course uh, hari Selasa juga ada berangkat lagi ke NBA All Star, but Thank you so much though untuk Surabaya, gila sih. Tadi banyak banget yang minta foto. Really appreciate everybody yang udah say hi, yang udah minta foto, dan juga udah ajakin ngobrol hari ini. Of course, shout out to all my members. Tadi members gue juga pagi-pagi ngumpul dulu kita di Coffee at Louis. Itu adalah salah satu perks-nya juga. Untuk jadi member channel gue, kita bisa nongkrong bareng semua once again. Shout out to everybody. Really appreciate it. Dan jangan lupa guys untuk kasih like, kasih komen, dan gue belum tahu sih kapan ngeliput IBA lagi sih. Mungkin seri Jogja ataupun pokoknya setelah liburan uh, lebaran sih nanti baru bisa ngeliput lagi semoga aja sih ada budgetnya untuk kesana so once again thank you so much guys for watching hopefully you guys enjoy the vlog today and I will see you guys again very soon peace out everybody